Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. And Mr. Photographer is not in a good mood. This morning I was in the studio. I was doing a video comparing two different camera straps. And I was all by myself. And I thought I had the camera perfectly focused on me. In fact, I didn't. Uh, when I viewed the video afterwards, it's kind of blurry. So I have to redo it. And I wasted the entire morning in the studio. So... I wasn't in a great mood, but I was looking at my email and I, somebody named Steve emailed me and said, hey, this super famous photographer just did a video uh, demonstrating this great Lightroom trick. Do you know it? And then I got even more upset because I actually did a video that contained that exact tip, but it was like five or six tips altogether. And that was one of the tips. So I've decided, because that very famous photographer um, did a video just on that tip, that this not-so-famous photographer will do the same. So I'm going to show you this tip all by itself. You may have seen it in one of my previous videos, or you may have seen it from that super famous photographer. Uh, I don't blame him. He seems like a really nice guy. But anyway, I'm going to show it to you nonetheless. It involves the brush, and it involves masking. Now, as you know, we'll open up the brush. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to take exposure down, all right, just so you could see what I'm doing. And let's say, for the sake of argument, that I want to do some adjustments to just the sculpture in the building, and I don't want to do any adjustments to the sky. Well, I could come in here and get like a really big brush, right? And I could come in here, now I have exposure all the way down. This wouldn't be a real adjustment. It's just here so you could see. So I could get towards the top, then I could get a smaller brush, and I could come in kind of come in here and you can see that how it's touching the sky well how do you get around that well you see how it went in the sky up in here well how do i get around that well delete that well of course we could do auto mask right so we could turn auto mask on and when auto mask is on i could do the same thing but unfortunately with auto mask it's kind of blotchy you could see how it doesn't go on real like evenly and the reason why is because wherever you initially click, it, it samples the pixels directly under the plus sign of the brush, and it's sampling for texture, color, and tone. And it's going to apply the brush settings that you have to the same texture, color, and tone. So that doesn't work real well, right? Well, how do you get around this? Well, what you could do is keep auto mask off. Get your big, big brush where you want to go on. And let's go like and do the majority of it. And then when we get to that edge, let's get a smaller brush. And now when we get to the edge, hold the command key in if you have a Mac, control key if you have a PC, hold that in while you brush. It temporarily puts the mask on. And then you could come in and not worry about grabbing the sky. Now it will come on a little blotchy, so you may have to go over areas a little more, but you'll be able to eventually paint in a perfect mask that doesn't touch the sky at all. So that's really all the tip is, is you could hold the command key or control key in. Again, if you have a Mac, you know it's the command key. If you have a PC, you know it's the control key. Hold that key in when you're near an edge and make sure that little plus sign that's in the middle of the brush is only over the part you want to affect. Don't let it, in this case, touch that blue sky. Keep that plus sign away from the blue sky and you'll be able to perfectly paint in your adjustment and mask it into and out of the areas you want it. So... That's the tip. That's all there is to it. I wanted to do a video today and I kind of screwed up this morning and kind of ruined the video I was going to do. But look for that video very soon. There's two great camera straps I'm comparing to one another. I love them both. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.